Well, we're asking questions tonight as the deadline nears in Facebook's class action settlement. $725 million will be split among those who apply. The deadline to do so is Friday at midnight. And joining me now is University of Dayton Professor of Law and Technology, Pablo Ianello. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Where did this settlement start and why is this such a big deal? Uh, hi everyone. Well, uh, the origin of this uh, uh, discussion and this settlement began with uh, the scandal of Cambridge uh, Analytics. Some of you may remember that. So basically, what happened is that um, uh, uh, Me today Meta, formerly Facebook, uh, was accused of uh, allowing uh, Cambridge Analytics to access data of Facebook's user without users' consent. That's the origin of the claim. Are there any other similar settlements that we could draw a comparison to? Well, um, there are many settlements or there are many claims against Meta, not only in the US, but also in the European Union uh, for different reasons. So for example, the cookie policies, but the specific reason of this claim or the specific feature is that this is a class action. That why it's uh, so important and it's so relevant in the United States. And do you believe this changes the obligations for social media platforms with data breaches at all? Well, um, you know, the main purpose of class actions uh, is, uh, whether you like it or not, is not uh, bringing a lot of money to uh, those that are claiming. And the main purpose of class actions is deterrence. So uh, uh, the main purpose of this is that you create a conscious in companies on how to behave related to users' data. So I think that, they, that there is a change in, in Meta's policy related to data. So yes, I, I think that this, there is a purpose of this. So in total, $725 million in payments will be made to potentially millions of users, and the total amount that each person will receive is not going to be released until after the deadline. Why can't they give a general number before filing a claim? Well, um, as you probably mentioned, the, the, the number that each claimant may receive may depend on those that are really uh, filling the form, uh, which deadline, as you mentioned, is, is this Friday. So this is one thing. The other thing is that you don't have to expect, even if you file the form, uh, you don't have to expect a big check uh, because of a lot of that money is going to be on attorney's fee. Okay, so they can claim it under like... 25%, I guess, on the on the on the number you mentioned. So that's that's a lot of money. But as I said, yeah, even if you are not planning to receive a big check, uh, I suggest to fill the claim because this eventually may open the door for an individual uh, tort action because of the breach of your privacy, your your data access, your data without your consent. Yeah, and the court has to approve this settlement that comes during a hearing on September seventh. Do you anticipate this being approved? It's highly likely. I see no reason for this being approved. Uh, nevertheless, despite being approved, uh, you don't have to expect to be paid immediately because, you know, legal procedure may be complex. You still may have appeal process and a lot of paperwork to do. So it can take some months in order to payment to be made by Meta's authorities. All right, Pablo Ianello, Professor of Law and Technology at the University of Dayton. Thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Anytime. Thank you very much. And if you are looking to file a claim, we have instructions on how you can do that on our website, WDTN.com. And once again, that deadline is midnight tomorrow.